Haggis is a savory pudding containing sheep's pluck heart, liver, and lungs, minced with onion, oatmeal, suet, spices, and salt, mixed with stock, and cooked while traditionally encased in the animal's stomach though now often in an artificial casing instead. According to the 2001 English edition of the Larousse Gastronomique, Although its description is not immediately appealing, haggis has an excellent nutty texture and delicious savory flavor. It is believed that food similar to haggis, though not so named, perishable offal quickly cooked inside an animal's stomach, all conveniently available after a hunt, was eaten from ancient times, although the name haggis, or haggis was first recorded in England c. 1430, the dish is considered traditionally of Scottish origin. It is even the national dish, as a result of Scots poet Robert Burns' poem addressed to a haggis of 1787. Haggis is traditionally served with neeps and tatties, boiled and mashed separately, and a dram, a glass of Scotch whiskey, especially as the main course of a Burns supper. History and etymology Haggis is popularly assumed to be of Scottish origin, but there is a lack of historical evidence that could conclusively attribute its origins to any one place. The first known written recipes for a dish of the name, made with offal and herbs, are as haggis, in the verse cookbook Liber Kirkacorum dating from around 1430 in Lancashire, North West England, and as haggis of a sheep, from an English cookbook also of c. 1430. The Scottish poem, Flighting of Dunbar and Kennedy, which is dated before 1520, the generally accepted date prior to the death of William Dunbar, one of the composers, refers to haggis. An early printed recipe for haggis appears in 1615 in the English Huswife by Gervis Markham. It contains a section entitled, Skill in Oatmeal. The use and virtues of these two several kinds of oat meals in maintaining the family, they are so many, according to the many customs of many nations, that it is almost impossible to reckon all. And then proceeds to give a description of oatmeal mixed with blood, and the liver of either sheep, calf or swine, maketh that pudding which is called the haggis or haggis, of whose goodness it is in vain to boast, because there is hardly to be found a man that did not affect them. Food writer Alan Davidson suggests that the ancient Romans were the first known to have made products of the haggis type. Even earlier, a kind of primitive haggis is referred to in Homer's Odyssey, in Book 20, towards the end of the 8th century BCE, when Odysseus is compared to a man before a great blazing fire turning swiftly this way and that a stomach full of fat and blood, very eager to have it roasted quickly. Haggis was born of necessity, as a way to utilize the least expensive cuts of meat and the innards as well. Clarissa Dixon Wright says that it came to Scotland in a longship, i.e., from Scandinavia, even before Scotland was a single nation. She cites etymologist Walter William Skeet as further suggestion of possible Scandinavian origins. Skeet claimed that the hag element of the word is derived from the Old Norse hag or the Old Icelandic haga, haga in modern Icelandic, modern Scots hag, meaning to hew, or strike with a sharp weapon, relating to the chopped up contents of the dish. In her book, The Haggis, A Little History, Dixon Wright suggests that haggis was invented as a way of cooking quick spoiling offal near the site of a hunt, without the need to carry along an additional cooking vessel. The liver and kidneys could be grilled directly over a fire, but this treatment was unsuitable for the stomach, intestines, or lungs. Chopping up the lungs and stuffing the stomach with them and whatever fillers might have been on hand, then boiling the assembly, probably in a vessel made from the animal's hide, was one way to make sure these parts were not wasted. Folklore In the absence of hard facts as to haggis. Origins, popular folklore has provided some notions. One is that the dish originates from the days of the old Scottish cattle drovers. When the men left the highlands to drive their cattle to market in Edinburgh, the women would prepare rations for them to eat during the long journey down through the glens. They used the ingredients that were most readily available in their homes and conveniently packaged them in a sheep's stomach allowing for easy transportation during the journey. 
Other speculations have been based on Scottish slaughtering practices. When a chieftain or laird required an animal to be slaughtered for meat, whether sheep or cattle, the workmen were allowed to keep the offal as their share. A joke sometimes maintained is that a haggis is a small Scottish animal with longer legs on one side, so that it can run around the steep hills of the Scottish Highlands without falling over. According to one poll, 33% of American visitors to Scotland believed haggis to be an animal. Modern use Haggis is traditionally served as part of the Burns Supper on or near January 25, the birthday of Scotland's national poet Robert Burns. Burns wrote the poem Address to a Haggis, which starts, Fair F.A. Your honest, sonsy face, great chief to know. The Puddin Race. In Burns's lifetime haggis was a common dish of the poor as it was nourishing yet very cheap, being made from leftover parts of sheep otherwise discarded. Haggis is widely available in supermarkets in Scotland all year, with cheaper brands normally packed in artificial casings, rather than stomachs. Sometimes haggis is sold in tins or a container which can be cooked in a microwave or conventional oven. Some commercial haggis is largely made from pig, rather than sheep, offal. Kosher haggis, not only pork-free but fully conformant to Jewish dietary laws, is produced. Haggis is often served in Scottish fast-food establishments, in the shape of a large sausage and deep-fried in batter. Together with chips, this comprises a haggis supper. A haggis burger is a patty of fried haggis served on a bun. A haggis pakora is another deep-fried variant, available in some Indian restaurants in Scotland. Haggis can be used as an ingredient in other dishes, even pizza, rather than the main part of a dish. A traditional haggis recipe describes haggis as sheep's pluck, heart, liver, and lungs, minced with onion, oatmeal, suet, spices, and salt, mixed with stock, and traditionally encased in the animal's stomach and boiled. Ingredients are sheep stomach, heart and lungs of one lamb, onions, oatmeal, salt, pepper, stock, and water, with optional ingredients dried coriander, cinnamon, and nutmeg. It can be boiled, baked, or deep fried. Vegetarian haggis Since the 1960s various Scottish shops and manufacturers have made what they call vegetarian haggis, substituting various pulses, nuts and vegetables for the meat. There are also recipes for homemade vegetarian haggis. Oats and barley may be included as may different types of lentils, split peas, aduki beans, kidney beans, borlotti beans, peanuts, other nuts and mushrooms, onions, and carrots. Outside Scotland Haggis remains popular with Scottish immigrants in the United States, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand, owing to the strong influence of Scottish culture, especially for burned suppers. It can easily be made in any country, but is sometimes imported from Scotland. A recipe from the Canadian province of New Brunswick uses pork and bakes it in a loaf pan. In 1971 it became illegal to import haggis into the U.S. from the U.K. due to a ban on food containing sheep lung, which constitutes 10-15% of the traditional recipe. The ban encompasses all lungs, as fluids such as stomach acid and phlegm may enter the lung during slaughter. The situation was further complicated in 1989 when all UK beef and lamb was banned from importation to the US due to a BSE crisis. In 2010 a spokeswoman for the US Department of Agriculture stated that they were reviewing the ban on beef and lamb products, but that the ban on food containing sheep lung would remain in force, as haggis cannot be exported to the United States, it is instead made there, sometimes by Scottish companies. One such uses what is stated to be the same 150-year-old recipe and ingredients as in Scotland, except that sheep lung is not used, and the casing is always artificial. Trivia Haggis is used in a sport called haggis hurling, which involves throwing a haggis as far as possible. The world record for haggis hurling was achieved by Lorne Coltart on the 11th of June 2011, who hurled his haggis 217 feet 66 meters. This throw surpassed the long-standing previous record of 180 feet 10 in 55.12 meters, held by Alan Pettigrew since 1984. On October 8, 2008, competitive eater Eric Steakbelly 
Livingston set a world record by consuming 3 pounds kilograms of haggis in 8 minutes on WMMR radio in Philadelphia. Following his victory in the Masters Golf Tournament in 1988, Scottish golfer Sandy Lyle served haggis at the annual Champions Dinner before the 1989 Masters. During the Korean War, the Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders received 180 pounds 82 kilograms of haggis from the No. 30 Transport Unit RAAF during Operation Haggis. See also References Notes External links Alton Brown's Haggis Recipe Belief in the Wild Haggis How to Cook the Perfect Burn Supper at Scotland. Org Haggis, Hail to the, Slideshow by Life Magazine Haggis at the Foods of England Address to a Haggis in French on YouTube